In this video, I'm going to use Microsoft Visio to help me design some of the specifics so that I can make this wine rack. And it's not going to be this exact wine rack, but one that fits a specific space in my house. My wife and I occasionally like to uh, make homemade wines. And when you make homemade wine, our typical batch size is six gallons, which is 34 bottles. And the issue always is where we're going to, after we get them bottled, where we're going to put it. So we thought it would be a neat, neat idea to. Uh, create a custom wine shelf. We've got a, a place in the basement uh, where between on a, along one wall between the corner of the wall and a doorway is 67 inches and I thought I could build two columns of something similar to this maybe a little bit taller that would help us uh, store those bottles. So what I'm going to do in this video again is use this tool. I need to determine some of these specifics on you know how what the shape and size of these little boards are that actually hold the hold the wine bottles and, and some of those type of specifics. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna keep this kind of active so you can again see what we're trying to do. And I'll show you what I want to do. I want to get I want to build the details of these bottles. We typically use 750 milliliter bottles, and I know those bottles run anywhere from three inches in diameter to three and a quarter inches in diameter. So I'm gonna build a I'll mock up a bottle here. Um, I've selected my circle tool and down along the bottom I can see that I'm almost three inches. Okay, right there uh, I am three inches in diameter. Right there. Okay, so there's the outside diameter of, of, uh, of a wine bottle. And then just for kicks I'm going to also use that same tool and draw what would be the uh, the neck of the bottle. So let's say that's the neck. And if I just drag it in here, it's going to self-center right there. Okay, so there's my bottle. And now I'm going to, let's go back to my pointer tool so I can select these objects. If I just click and drag, I've now selected both objects. And now I'm going to group them. And what this does is now treats them as one object. If I just grab the big one and grab it, see it, it, uh, it actually acts and moves as if it's both bottles or both both circles. Now I'm going to take that bottle and I need to duplicate it. I'm going to use Control C to copy and then Control V to paste and I'm going to put that bottle next to it. Now I know that with um, if I consider I drew these as three inch bottles and I've really got to accommodate three and a quarter as well but if I take two three and a quarter inch bottles and put them next to each other and leave a one eighth inch space and I take that same space and only use three inch bottles that space will be that eighth inch plus another quarter so I really need three eighths inch space between these bottles so let's I'm gonna come over here and grab a, a measuring tool and I'll place that here and say that and drag this down where it's in the corner of that it's, it's on that right edge of the left bottle and I'll take this one and I'll put it in the right edge there and then I'm gonna come up the font on that guy so I can see and there's my 3 8 inch so I actually happened to drop these just right so 3 8 inch is exactly what I want the distance between the bottle that way I can combine again the 3 inch bottles and if I were to use a three and a quarter inch bottle it would still work. Alright next I want to create this horizontal board here and I believe at first it's going to have to reside underneath the bottle. I'm going to go to my, my rectangle tool and let's mock up a board. Thickness doesn't matter right now how tall it is we can adjust that later but the key is I just need to get a board there uh, and at, at the current time I'm going to place it where the bottle is is, is uh, touching that board because I think in the back it will. Alright, so now let's zoom in. I think I want... Um, now I want to create the board that goes between the bottles that actually holds the bottles. And um, I think I want a board that's roughly one inch wide. And let's go with a half inch tall. And as I was dragging that, I was looking down here, my width of that square rectangle is one inch one inch wide and 0.5 inches tall so there's my one inch by half inch let's take that and I'm going to 
drag it here and it appears to be center okay so it's not tall enough to touch the bottle yet so I actually gotta drag it a little higher and uh, let's give it a little more thickness like that so now really it's a it's a one inch board by three quarter inch board that'd be good and then what I need to do is now knock off these corners what I'm going to do there is I'm going to change my tool and go to the line tool and I'm going to click here and drag up to about where that bottle is looks like that's all I can get right there I'm going to drag over it's I got snapped a grid on so it's going to snap it for a minute I'm going to drag over to here I'm trying to make this somewhat symmetrical down to the board and then come back across. Okay, let me zoom in some more. If I click that and turn it pink, now I can move it. I want to move it to right there. And then I want to click on this other one, turn it pink. Now I'm going to drag and snap it there. So now we have an object. Let's go back to my pointer tool. I'm going to get rid of the square that's in the back. I don't know. Let me grab this and move it. Yeah, that's the square. I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that. So now we have this object. Again, it's an inch wide and three quarters of an inch um, tall. I want to I want to make this touch. So I need to go back to my line tool so I can get these control points. And I'm going to drag this one up. It's not going to want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually using my down arrow key to just move this object down. It was trying to snap to the circle. Now I can grin it, raise that up, click on this and raise this up. And I believe these have to come over. Let's see what that looks like if I do that. See if we're a little bit closer. Now again, I'm going to use my up arrow to bring this up to see if that touches. The, okay, so now we're sitting on this board, which is good, and that's just base of the bottle. The bottle is going to come down just a speck. But that is, that's the shape I'm looking for. So now what I need to do, let's back out of this with a minus. Okay. And let's, let's do another little test. Let's get my pointer tool. I'm going to duplicate this object here. So I'm going to click on it, hit Control C, Control V, and I'm going to place it over here. I'm going to sit on top of the board, and then I'm going to use my left arrow key to bring it over until it's in that same same exact position. What this is going to do is allow me to um, determine the space between the boards, because when I'm putting this together, I'm not going to have the bottles there, but I am going to have, I'll build a spacer very consistent width spacer make sure that every one of these boards, there's going to be a lot of them, make sure that these are placed in the right space each time. So let's take our horizontal measuring tool and reverse it by just grabbing that yellow dot and, and dragging it down. Um, let's see a couple things. Let's see. Um, no, let's just do this. Let's put this Let's do it real. Let's come up here and have that snap to that dot. And take this one and have it. Again, I want the space between. So I snap that to that. There it shows that my space, and I'll build a spacer that's two and three eighths inches. It'll drop down. I'll, I'll mount this one. I'll drop a spacer in here and I'll be able to put this in place and, and screw it down tight. That's a pretty key element there. Next, I want to get more details about this object. So again, I'm going to copy with a control C, paste with a control V. I'm going to bring it down here. Let's set it right here. Okay. And then, uh, again, just for building purposes, I want to take my horizontal tool, measurement tool. Uh, for a minute, just bring that down. Drag that up to that corner, drag this up to that corner, and uh, 
that shows that that's one inch wide. Let's take our vertical tool, stick it there, and drag this to. Let's get the overall height. three quarter inch tall then I want another one of these let's put it on this side drag this to this side I need to know when I'm building this where this mark needs to be where that point it's nine sixteenths from the bottom I'll be able to put a line on the on the board and then set my table saw uh, to create an angular cut and knock off this corner and then flip the board around and just knock off the same corner without resetting the saw. The other thing I need to do now is determine the that angle. Um, so let me let's zoom in to make this make sure this you can see what's going on here. <coughs> all right, that's all of that. Let's take this eye. Let's take this. I'm gonna, if I use my pointer tool and I select all these objects I can then bring them down the page. Let's bring them down here where I can get this one last measurement in here and that is um, the angle angle of these um, okay so what I did is I dropped the center center point of this angle on um, the start of that bevel. I'm going to take this and move it over. The whole thing's going to move, but I'm going to grab this one. Oop, not that one. This dot here, this white dot. Rotate this around. I want this to be straight up and down. And now I'm going to re-rotate this back until I get that angle. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat a little bit again. I'm going to grab my pointer tool my line tool. I'm going to select that corner and I'm going to draw a line. See it actually even tells, shows me that right there is an extension of that cut. Now I can go back to my pointer tool, select this dimensional thing, grab this line and put it on it. Alright, now with my pointer tool I'm going to grab this fake line I put in here, this temporary line and delete it. So there's my angle. Let's take and bring this down a little bit closer. 33.1. I'm all set to, I think I could get 33 degrees. Um, pretty close to that and that'll help me determine that. The other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and grab, um, let's zoom back out. touch that. I'm going to hold my shift key so I can include that dimension, this dimension, this dimension, this dimension, and this dimension. I'm just selecting all the dimensional values. Then I'm going to use this uh, increase font size to make these bigger so I can read them. Okay, this one was already bigger. Those are at 30 point. All right, so now I can. I'll be able to take that page and print it. And that is the detail for building each of these shelves. Now I'm going to go to. I'm going to take this detail and bring it over to another sheet and use that sheet to help me to design how the the height of the rows and the and the and the width of these uh, these columns here. So if I take my pointer tool and I select from here up to here, it's going to, I just selected both bottles, both of these boards, and this board is what it ended up doing. I'll copy that. I'm going to go to another page where I have, basically I have, and that, and that last page was drawn to scale. So if I take this and paste it onto this sheet, this sheet is at a different scale because I need a different scale to show those boards. So the vertical boards, let's draw one of those. 
I believe I want to make it four inches. So let's start right here. There's six. Let's grab, let's see, let's, let's act like we're making a board. And then let's take the width of it. I'm looking at the bottom. There's three, and there's five, and six. I need to get, I need to zoom in to be able to get to it. So there's, there's four inches wide. And then the ceiling in that room is 92 inches, but I'm not going to make it 92. I'll make it, uh, let's shoot for seven and a half feet tall. Uh, we're at six feet tall now. Let's come here, seven and a half. We can adjust that later, but let's start with that. <clears throat> and I'm going to put, go ahead and set it down on this. And then the other thing is going to be, I know that that wall is 67 inches wide. That's from the corner to the edge of a door. I'm not going to go quite that wide. I don't want to leave a little bit of space. Let's say make it um, 60 inches. So at first, let's, let's go shoot for 60 inches. And we can adjust from there. So for the corner of the wall all the way up to the door opening is 60 inches which is five foot all right so that's that's my that's how wide the whole entire unit's going to be so now I can take this I'm gonna copy this column and paste it and drag it set it there there's our width I'm gonna paste it again and I need this one to be in the center um, now if this is at a half a foot and that's at out at five and a half I think I centered it let's take a peek what I usually do is just grab a square tool here and if I go from there to there that's one foot eleven if I copy and paste that and drag that over here I'm not centered so I need to be centered between these two boards so if I go to my pointer tool, click on this. There's a lot of ways to do this, but there. Now the that board is centered. Yeah, on the three-foot mark would be centered. So let's get rid of these. So for right now, there's my boards, what they want, but what they're going to look like. Let's take this object. If I select all those pieces, and again, I want to group those. So now it's really one object. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm going to take this. Let's zoom in. Use my left key until it touches. Let's take all of these. Copy and paste them. Set it here. Move it with my left arrow key until it touches. Now I'm going to take all of these. Let's group these. Just make one group out of this. So I'll group. All right, now this is one object. And then let's see how this fits. Okay, I see a little bit of a problem. <clears throat> this board is actually going to sit on top of these units. Right, these will be right behind this board. So if I select this board and I say bring to the front, it'll bring it in front of that. I can get that bottle out. I can if, if this bottle's not here, I can take that bottle out. But I can't do that here. So what this is going to do? Remember, I, I said it, I wanted it roughly five feet. Let's um, let's move it equally. What I'm gonna take, touch this board, and I'm gonna use my arrow key, and I'm gonna move it over to it looks just like that other side, which is right there. Okay, let's zoom out. Let's again take a just a, a temporary rectangle. There's the distance between those, right? I grab my pointer tool. And I move this over here. I need the same distance here. So I'm going to select this uh, column, and I'm going to right arrow key it over until it's there. All right, so now these three boards are equally spaced apart. Their spacing based on these bottles will now fit. And I have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. I'll have eight bottles per row. Let me get rid of this temporary thing. Eight bottles per row. Let's take this down here. Well, it'll be somewhere a little bit off the ground. And let's now duplicate that. And I'm actually going to bring this back forward just just so we can see it. We know it goes behind there, but I, I need to be able to see it. All right, so now, let's zoom into this little area. I know that these bottles could be, um, well, if these are sitting there, I can take this guy and lower him down. I want to leave a little bit of space where you can get the bottles out easy, so that's about what I want. Let's go ahead and put a dimension line on that. Um, so that we know, because we'll need that dimension down the road. So if I put this in here, that's that elevation. And this one's going to be that one. So three and three quarter inches will be the distance between shelves. Now, Let's see how many shells we're going to get. I'm going to, with my pointer tool, I'm going to click here and drag, and I'm going to drop right here. And what that's going to do is only select the things that are fully inside that area, which basically are my two rows of bottles. I'll copy and paste. Let's set that here. It needs to go over to the left one notch, and then we'll bring it down again. I'm going to tell you what I need to do, really. I'm going to take this dimension line, copy and paste it, and drag it. i got to make sure that when I dropped these down, yep, I dropped them in the right, right level. Um, so now watch, this is going to be a little different, but I'm going to show you. What I'm, I want to get three rows of bottles, plus I want to get this dimension line. So I'm going to hit my shift key and select it, and hit copy and paste. If I drag up here, you see what I got? I've got this. This dimension line is at the bottom of that. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the right elevation. And I'm going to copy and paste that again. There's ways to use duplication, but I find this is. Uh, this is a very easy way of doing it as well. That's the right elevation in that. And I can grab more rows if I wanted to, but I'm just going to continue to, to do it like this and see what would come out. There, and bring it down to there. Copy, paste. So give me just a second here. I'll get these all down to that dimension lines at the bottom where I was looking right here. Copy paste. There's that dimension line right there. Copy paste. Alright, we're getting close to the top now. need two more, but I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste, and then we'll delete a row. We just got this thing working. Okay, coming down to right there, and I'm going to leave those there for just a minute because I may raise the elevation of this after I think about it for a second, but let's just see what we got. Okay, we've 
got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five at at that is twenty five times eight is two hundred bottles. Um and then I'm going to have a whole other stack over here that's 400 models of wine. So it really doesn't need to be this tall. Um, I think I will get rid of like this row and this row. Yep. And then we can get rid of these dimension lines. Just select it and hit delete. also fix, again I'm making notes that I'm going to use when I'm building this. So my overall width no longer is 5 foot. There I've got, it's now 5 foot 2 and a quarter. I've got 67 inches to work with. That's that's 5 foot 7. So it'll still give me a little bit before the doorways here. Let's also, let's drag this down a little bit, make a little more room. That's our overall dimension. Let's take, with that highlight, I'm going to hit copy and paste. And I'm going to drag this. line to have. Okay, now there's one more board that I'm going to need. So let's zoom in here. And that is, this is the front vertical column. There's also be one in the back. And there'll be a board that runs between the, the front board and the back board that this shelf rests on. So let's take a, our square tool, rectangle tool. And let's see, that is a one inch by two inch piece of wood. Probably not that big. Yeah, one inch by two inch. Let's just leave it like that. Again, one inch down here, one inch by two inch. If I grab that and slide it in here, and I'm going to move it in a little bit. There'll be one there. There's going to be one on the other side, so I'll copy and paste that. Set it there and bring it in a couple notches. That will be It's not going to be that big. I'm going to make it one inch by one and a half inch. I like that better. I just like the looks of it better. One by one and a half. Let's take our pointer tool. I'm going to raise this up to this one. Because I'm going to take this row of bottles, copy, paste. I'm going to set it over here just to show what this is going to look like. It's going to be just like that, and if I copy this square, paste it, and put it in here, bring it over two notches, I think this is going to come over. And then ultimately I'm going to need one more of these guys. If I clicked on it slowly, I finally got it where even though it's in the group, it's selected itself. I believe I can copy that and paste it. Yes, yeah, so I was able to grab that one item out. And there'll, there will be one more of those here. Let's bring it down and over. Yeah. So that's exactly how those will look. Let's take this and move over to the next notch. It was in the way a little bit. Let's zoom out and see how that looks. Wow. 400 bottles of wine. We'll never use that much, but we'll all be we'll be able to um, put put our 
varieties and in, in groups. We typically out of the 34 bottles we'll, we'll drink down all but six bottles and then take those six and make sure that we leave one for next year and the next year after that and, uh, um, and space, space those out. So we select them just to see if they get any better over time and try and try and record that information and that way we know if something is a wine that was a homemade wine that's only good for about two years and it starts dropping off and you, you make sure you finish your bottles in two years or if you, you find one that gets better at six years then you, you try and hold some of those off. So I will build um, this this row section here in mock-up and, and at least tr you know put it together uh, with some very cheap wood and and see if those bottles sit just the way I want to and if they do then we'll start mass producing I'll mass produce all the the pieces that go between the bottles these these shelf pieces all that stuff we mass produce so they're all identical the other thing I'll be able to do from this drawing is do what's called a takeoff I'll be able to go in here and count how many of each of these components that I need uh, that way I could start planning how much wood how much raw materials to buy and um, and have a list of how many I need to physically build so as I'm building and mass producing them they'll uh, I'll have the right quantity and I'll build a couple you know five or six extra of each or something just in case something happens to one but so the last thing I need to do is create the profile of this section to know how deep it is, how long these boards are. So I'm going to scroll down here to the scroll in, scroll over to down. And this little section right here, I want to create that profile. So with my square tool, I'm going to make these boards will be about one inch thick. So let's make a one inch piece there. And let's say that's the front of the back. I know a bottle is really 11 inches so for right now let's make this 12 inches you know, from 8 foot to 7 foot 12 inches so there's there's that. Now let's let's draw a bottle. Remember it's uh, 3 inches in diameter so that I can see that's 3 inches fancy thing. In this line section right here, you can go to line options and you can round the edges. I'm going to move this over you can see what we're doing. I'm going to click on this first small radius, hit apply and see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks like a bottle. So I'm going to hit, uh, oh, also going to, yep. Then also let's do a fill. Let's make this green bottle. So now my pointer tool again. Now this is I went from eight foot to seven. That's twelve inch bottle. I'm gonna with it selected like this. I can simply grab, take this, and shorten the bottle. Um, it's still three inches tall, but now it's eleven inches, which is really closer to what it should be really be. Now I want the bottle, the top of the bottle, to, to stick out to flush with that the front edge. This is the front of the of the um, wine rack, and this is that back board. And then this, I want to make sure that this can can drop down. So I'm actually going to make this thing a little bit deeper than uh, it's going to be deeper than 12 inches. It's actually going to be this internal dimension is going to be 12 inches. Um, so that's how that'll be. Yep. And then let's zoom in just so we can make sure we're seeing this. So now I need this represent this board right here so I'll just grab a, a square make it this big and it rides up on the bottle a little bit that's not really the important part the important part 
there's this dimension out how that's going to go um, that board let's do some filling so we can make sure we understand what's going on let's make that one brown let's color this one brown this board It's one and a half, half inch by one and a half. I'll probably make that two. I need this not to be a half inch thick. That's where I originated. Let's, let's leave that like that. There'll be a similar board in the back. So there's that board. I'm going to take and fill that with uh, something more. Let's see if I have a little more chip. That's the same as this board. So now I've got some extra space here. I could probably get rid of it. This pointer tool. Bring that in. Make this. I hate to do this, but I'm doing it. bring to the front just to show you this to the front that, that dips down oh I'm also by default it comes with a shadow I come to shadow here and turn shadow off no shadow just not to confuse things so that is what the profile I believe wants to look like and I'll be able to take some dimensions off that two inches. You know, these little control dots you can move this stuff around. Same thing. I copy and paste that one. Figure out if that's gonna. I think I got a little little flaw there. That may have to be out of some pretty hard wood to be that small, one half inch in diameter, holding all those bottles. That's not gonna work. Um, 
therefore we are going to have to bring this back. And I might even bring it back this far just to make this board more substantial. Yep. one and a half no reason this can't pass to just be one and a half so let's make it one and a half I like it and actually no reason this can't be two better all right so I mean this is exactly why it's it's actually really fun to draw out your your dot your what you're gonna make and use the drawing to critique and make adjustments to what looks right what looks strong I know that these boards right in here that spans between each of these columns it's this board right here it's got to hold up wine bottles it's got it's got I don't want it to in a year to have a big sag in it so um, not only is that it's got to be a hard wood um, but it's also got to be able to withstand the weight so even though I have some gap back here which I don't mind you're not going to see that I'd rather have that so I can make this board thicker so it can hold, hold that weight um, speaking this particular one. See right here. There's three quarter inch thick. That's what it's really gonna look like. Let's add some dimensions. See what's going on. All right, so we got an inch and a half there. Copy and paste that. Add that there. Add this to there. Put this on this other side. it again. Oops. Yep. Add that to there. Add this down to here. So there is my side view details. changed we changed that board thickness right there I'm gonna go back and do it on this one thing just so the drawings correct it's now three quarters of an inch I've got it height is a half an inch so let's take and add now it's 0.75 which is three quarters of an inch so now I've got a pretty good drawing between 
that detail and this assembly detail. I should be able to put what I need together to, to make this wine rack. So the next day I went back and took a look at my drawings and went back through the numbers and dimensions and made a few extra modifications. Here's a demonstration of the modifications I've made to page one. I got uh, not, not only just the color in there but I've rearranged some things a little bit. Um, made I think I'm a, little, I'm a lot more happy with that and then took those some of those changes actually had to be incorporated on this new version of page two. So these were my two final drawings. You can see now how something as simple as Visio or any other drawing tool can really be an added asset to your creativity and uh, allow you to put together some your ideas on paper to make your, mo your next project more simple. Hopefully uh, you enjoy the video and uh, comment if you have any questions. Thank you.